Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And we're almost at Black Friday, so I thought I'd go ahead and do a ColourPop Black Friday kind of sale or kind of recommendations. And yes, my makeup is stained because I use it. So um, to go ahead and start off with uh, what I have on today is a pretty fresh um, and this is the foundation by ColourPop, which I would definitely suggest picking up. I have my shade in 30 Fair and the Pretty Fresh Concealer as well. I consider these to be amazingly good products. I also put the Lumi Glotion um, by uh, L'Oreal underneath, so I have a combination of all three of these on. Uh, during the ColourPop site-wide 30% off sale, um, you can, whoa, ah, almost disaster, but not quite. Okay, um, so the Pretty Fresh, uh, these are the tinted moisturizers. I have four in and eight in, and you can pick these up on the 30% off sale. Um, again, the concealer and the actual foundation itself. I found that all three of these work really well for me, and um, I would recommend them to anybody. Uh, usually with the sale, I think they uh, the tents usually run about $9 a piece, and um, the concealers usually are around 5 Again, I don't know the exact percentages off, but I'm going off of years past where I've purchased things. Um, I would also go ahead and suggest, this is a Flexitarian. This is one of their cream highlighters, which is amazing. Uh, this one will, it's what I have on today. And if you want to glow into another galaxy, this one, yeah. They have a whole range of highlighters that will do that for you. I also like the Seismic Highlighter a lot too. Uh, this is actually one of the ColourPop um, Cheeks. And so this one is in Out of Quartz, I think. Yeah, it's really pretty pink. And I actually have a few other colors here. Okay. So in the Cheeks, I have this one, which is Parasol which is a pretty kind of orange kind of color. And um, these are always really fun, the cheek colors, and they're the Super Shocks. They tend to get looked over a lot. Whoa, I am really having a moment of it with my camera today. Excuse me, it usually doesn't do this. I'm usually not staying on the edge of my seat wondering if it's going to fall over. Uh, but it's doing that today. Um, the other new product that you could definitely pick up, uh, they have the cream uh, bronzers. This one is in Get Sandy, um, but you can definitely pick those up as well. And um, I've really fallen back in love with the um, brow. This is the one in taupe. And uh, they actually have a kit where you can get the uh, brow, this one, and then the uh, brow sculpt that will hold, here it is, see I knew I had it here, uh, the brow sculpt that will go ahead and hold your brow up, and I couldn't find this earlier, might as well take a moment and apply some here, so again this is the brow sculpt, and you can get these, um, I think it's ten dollars to go ahead and get the brow sculpt and the brow pencil and uh, let's see I do know that they are going to be doing some vaults now I think the camera's going to fall every moment so uh, if anything it's an exciting video right um, so they are going to be doing some of the vaults this is one of the vaults this was actually one from last year but I know that it's in there for this year as well it's called if you like and it comes with five um, eyeshadow palettes. They're all five pan palettes. And you get pink, blue, purple, green, and peach. So, yeah, pink, green, purple, blue, and peach. So uh, this is the colorful uh, five pan makeup vault, and it's going to be available this year. Now, that for sure. Um, as far as going ahead and getting into some palettes here, Let's first rearrange so things aren't falling. Like I said, this is, yeah. 
<laughs> it's a video of high intensity where the camera is trying to fall over all the time. Okay, so on the list, uh, this is ColourPop palette. It's what I have on my eyes today. I did go ahead and do the peacock look, which is basically taking this duochrome, which is really pretty. It's light purple to dark purple. Use this all over the lid. I use the green um, right on the lid itself. Uh, this on the inner corner and right under the brow. And then I did go ahead and use some of the ColourPop gel eyeliner as well. With this particular palette, you may actually have to get this at Ulta. Um, I was on the website, the ColourPop website. I didn't see this one. But again, it's Sunday night. Officially, the whole ColourPop um, Black Friday is going to come out on Monday. Uh, there are some sneak peeks out there and some things which probably shouldn't have been sneak peeked um, but so uh, that's kind of where it's at right now um, so uh, they did publish a list of what they're doing hmm. but we actually haven't seen the products this is one of the um, yeah glowing lips uh, this one is actually in lavender, um, but you'll be able to go ahead and get some vaults of these, and they're really pretty. Like them a lot. Um, one of the uh, one of the days, and they block these off in different days, is that they're going to be going ahead and doing get a make palette, and then a roll of um, brushes uh, for about forty dollars or so again i don't have specifics yet uh this is smoke and roses which actually came out last thanksgiving and i would just definitely recommend this it's one of the makeup palettes if you're looking at going ahead and getting one of the makeup palettes rock candy is also another makeup palette that came out last year and um again with the color stories here i just I end the formulas. I definitely go ahead and recommend them. They do have two or three uh, glitters per palette, basically. And so, you know, that'll factor into whether or not you like it and the color story and everything. But those were a couple that I thought. Um, if I was going to go ahead and do that, I would definitely go for one of these two. So again, uh, Rock Candy or Smoke and Roses. And then as far as going on to the other palettes that are newer, um, again, ColourPop has a 30% off site-wide. Uh, Troublemaker is a really good palette. It's a cooler palette that just came out. And so if you have a cool lover, makeup lover that you're purchasing for, uh, the Hocus Pocus 2 is a great palette, which I think um, really... Well, we'll have uh, some stain power, especially over the winter months, these purples and greens. And um, yeah, you can get a couple of um, a couple of everyday looks as well. Oh, and there went my <laughs> heater. On uh, the Avatar palette, this is one that they went ahead and restocked that they had actually uh, came out earlier. But if you know somebody who's a makeup or a makeup fan who also loves sci-fi and um, the Avatar. I love that movie. I didn't know that it was part of a huge, a huge uh, collaboration and a huge book series and all that good stuff. One thing I did know about was the Star Wars palette. And again, I didn't get this right when it came out, but isn't that pretty? I mean, that's from, that is definitely from the posters that came out with the original movies, because I know yeah, I remember this poster. And so these are really pretty. These have um, some of a creamier formula in there. Uh, with these ones, I recommend instead of using concealer as your base or an eye primer, with these, uh, they're creamy enough that I would use a dry eye on them uh, to go ahead and use them. But again, a fun palette to pick up. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. And all of these ones have been running a little bit cooler. And um, this one came out last year. I just p picked it up this year. Again, a really cool smoky eye kind of palette. And it's the last one that I have here are Back to Hogwarts. 
this palette, somebody spent a lot of time on. There's some beautiful special shades in here. It opens like a book. So when you open it, sort of like that. Um, again, just really quality palette right here. If you have somebody, I mean, who hasn't read Hogwarts at this point, or seen the movies, or, you know, one of those. So um, that's what I had as far as regular palettes. And yes, this video is a little bit longer. Um, I got out some of the nine pan palettes because one of the days uh, they're going to go ahead and do the nine palette doll. The nine palette, nine palettes, nine pan palettes for nine dollars. I knew I could say it. Um, it's taupe is a beautiful one that I would suggest picking up if you're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, the Mavi Mats, again, another nine pan palette. And these are going to be on sale for, I think, all nine pans are $9. So this one is the Of Quartz palette. And again, really pretty neutral palette. Apricot Me Not. And again, I'm not sure if all of these are available, but these are my recommendations, the ones that I have loved from this year. And then by the Rosé, another really pretty palette. This one was kind of a sleeper, you know, I got the Smoke and Roses and I thought, well, maybe I don't need it, but I saw it on sale, so I picked it up and I've really enjoyed this palette a lot. So, um, I think that's just about, not quite all of my color pop, but close. Um, they always do their bolts, of their gel eyeliners. I really suggest picking those up um, because you can get a whole bunch of colors um, in a bolt. And uh, they do have bolts of, let's see, the glowing lips. That, that's what I have on today. And um, another one of my favorites from this year is the So Glassy Lip. So I think that's a really pretty one as well. Yeah, it's a long video when you have to reapply the lipstick halfway through the video. <laughs> so again, the So Glassy there. Um, they do actually also do let me just get a handful of these. These are actually um, the older lippy stick uh, packaging, but I mean, you can go ahead and pick up a whole lippy stick vault. And uh, these are mine. I have more of them, but, but, and they come in a really cute little box. So let's see. So this is the kind of box. It comes in and it's faux leather and it says color pop on it and then it makes a really pretty you can just go ahead and keep them out um, and in the packaging so it turns out really nice um, I also really like the lippy pencils uh, from ColourPop which are the lip liners and in a lot of cases I know that a lot of people will just use a lip liner and then throw one of the glosses on top and if you want something that's not going to smear during the day, because a lot of these, especially when you get older, I'll find that they start drifting down, you know, and nobody wants that. So a lip liner in a lot of cases can give you the color without giving you, you know, all the emollient stuff that goes along with it. So uh, the lip, the gel eyeliner vaults, the lippy or the lip pencil vaults, um, the lippy stick vaults and the glowing lip vaults, um, they have, you know, small ones or you can get the big lippy pencil box that has all of the lippy pencils in it. So there are all sorts of different vaults that will be coming out now that we're getting closer. And this is Sunday night that I'm filming. I'm pretty sure they're going to be out on Monday. And I think that's about all other than showing you my eye look. So this is the peacock look, and I went ahead and used the purple and then the green on the lid, and a little bit of the blue underneath as far as the gel eyeliner. Um, I think that's about all I have. 
but I would definitely say take a good look on the ColourPop website because the Super Shock, the Cheeks, are those are always really good purchases. And there are a whole bunch of things that are just going to be 30% off that maybe um, we overlook because, you know, if you're on the site a lot, you don't necessarily see them. So um, I would say, you know, just go and look at, through the website because there are going to be all sorts of amazing deals on there. Um, oh, and just to let you know, I did do some of the She Glam. This, I think, is in Eros, E-R-O-S, and it's just a very fun, um, glowy lotion that I have on my neck and the decolletage. And so, um, yeah, I think that's about it, and thank you, and have a great day. Bye.